Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. As always, I am Oz, and welcome to episode 27, to be more precise. Uh, this is a priest off. Oh, and the guy on the right has just won. Look at that, he's staring him down. Oh yeah, boy. Boy, boy. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night over here in the, uh, in the Australia. <laughs> and I've been hard at work. It's been a few days since I put out a video. Uh, but, let's have a look at some of the things, such as this. So, I said I would cover up those levers, and I have done just that. Uh, nice little bowl formation, which has turned itself into a bit of a... What is the thing that they call it? An octahedron, I think. Or a tetrahedron. I think it's a tetrahedron. Sort of get that sort of vibe about it. So you got the six points, one, two, and then the four around the side. That looks pretty nice. I've also buffed out the outside. We now have a nice little lapis lazuli decal stripe. It's like a racing stripe going all the way around here, out to there. Same on the other side. But the most important aesthetic change is not this, but I have done this to give it light. I was worrying a little bit about the lighting and things like that. But we have a third floor now. Huzzah! <laughs> if anybody has seen the uh, Bundaberg rum ads here in Australia, the huzzah! Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, excuse me, I'm just going to take a quick drink. <sighs> Mojito. Delicious. Of course, I am of legal drinking age here in this country. So if you're not of legal drinking age in your country, please do not drink Mojito. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's like my second or third one. They're tasty. I like them. Uh, Smirnoff and Schweppes. Very, very delicious combination. I get like a pre, pre-mixed uh, mojito mix from uh, my local store. My local, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, liquor store. That's it. <laughs> I'm not out of it, I swear. And just get a couple of cans of uh, Schweppes lemonade. Schweppes, of course, best lemonade here in Australia if you have Schweppes in your country. Congratulations, you have delicious lemonade. If not, do not drink the 7-Up, because it's crap. <laughs> or the Lido, heaven forbid, that's even worse. Okay, so, we've done a third floor here, I guess is the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> in between my incoherent ramblings. We have used, uh, it's just, uh, stone half slabs, all the way up. I like the stone half slab, it gives, if you're using it as a flooring, it's great, it gives a nice grid feel, very, uh, accurate, I guess you could call it. An atmosphere of accuracy and precision. But if you use it at the sides like this, it gives a nice it makes a nice rampart and that gives it a nice feel of a citadel or something like that. And I think because the bottom we had sandstone and wood, but the sandstone oh it's easy to use sandstone. You've got four different types. You've got your slabs, your stairs, your blocks. You've got sand and everything like that. It's easy to get creative with sandstone. Everybody gets creative with sandstone. Even uh, guys like uh, Etho's Lab. Etho, of course, the guy behind the channel. He's a big user of sandstone, but uh, it's not really challenging. You can do all sorts of crap with sandstone. Oh, uh, apologies for any uh, semi-coarse language. What's semi coarse? Halfway between soft and um, dermatologically? No, that's not even a thing. Anyways, semi coarse. I'll stick with semi coarse before I make a damn fool out of myself. But here, I think it gives, adds a nice touch, and that's not even the point I was trying to make. <laughs> and then we moved up to stone brick. Stone brick, another one of those things that is easy to use because it comes in full block, half slab and stair formations, uh, stair forms. So it's easy to do stuff like that. Ooh, thunderstorm, yipes. That's not good, that's not good at all. But anyways, if you use it along like here, I think it's nice. It, it, very, it looks like ramparts of a castle. And we finally have a place to put our enchanting table. All right, so here, 16 book formation, back and front corners. Uh, this is just here to stop spawning, I swear. But it's a bit visible at the back. Doesn't matter. Uh, in later episodes, I will be clearing this. Oop. Is there any way for me to get back up there? No. I won't bother. Uh, I've just, like, sort of silly puttied in the rest of this stuff. Filled it in with filler and stuff. 
Um, what else is there? So yeah, this is 16. It's one more than I need, but I could have always done five at the front, but uh, I didn't want to. I like this look better. Okay, so uh, let's head down here. This has been filled in. This is all one solid chunk now. And I like this. I like the stark transition from sandstone to stone brick. Sorry, there's a moth buzzing around in my head. Well, actually, moths don't buzz. It's just sort of hovering there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Nice. I like this. The sudden transition, because this is like our cocoa wall. And it has its own place. Yeah, so that's nice. Um, I'm not in 1.4.3, despite the many bug fixes it has, because I like being able to do this. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Oh, and the ender chest is up here. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but that's where this is. But I like being able to swim upstream. I'm a, I'm a salmon man. <laughs> and 1.4.3 does not allow you to do this. In fact, if you get stuck in a two-day pot of water that you've made, you will die because you can't swim up. And that is the one and only and pretty significant reason why... Oh, jeez, that thing is coming down hard. That is the most significant reason why I am not in 1.4.3, despite the fact that it fixes a whole bunch of bugs like the two-block fall damage and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, so what else have we got to report? I have a few more a sheep, and I've had to breed them up because I want some wool. Why do I want wool, you ask? That is a very good question. Oh, good. I need six more white wool. Oh, and they changed the sound for that. Awesome. Perfect, six wool. How are our chickens? See, if I'd have been in 1.4.3, I'd have been a dead man right there. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I was in 1.4.3, that happened to me. I knew I was going to die, so what did I do? I closed the game and then swapped my jar back to 1.4.2, because I didn't want to die that way. What are all these chickens doing here? Goddamn fools. Oh. I have plans for you guys. I'll make a much better farm for you. But uh, that is something I do want to discuss. It is very, very urgent matter as far as this Let's Play is concerned. I feel I am coming close to the end of my building of this house. Aha, <laughs> I had you there for a sec, didn't I? But in all seriousness, once this house is done, I think I may, in fact, leave this let's play as it is and go on to a new season because I have so many ideas that I want to do but I feel that it would be best to do they would be best served on a new map and that way I just have the whole I have all the creative juices flowing I can go ahead and do everything I want without the feeling that I'm trapped in this world and I can't really do anything new and that because I've laid down my roots in this world right here in this little area here of course I sort of had to after I blew up my old base but that's kind of not the point anyways just take another sip of my mojito I'm getting dangerously low I may have to refill before we get started on any construction but uh, like I said in the last episode you see that block of glowstone out there I said I would a 50-50 chance of doing building inside, but that's already done. See, this is already done here. So, that takes care of that 50. 50%. Uh, 50 so now it's just 50-50 in the water, 50-50 screwing around. I think I may go into the water. Because there's something I want to do. And it involves these black and white wool that I have here. 43 pieces a piece. So I'm just going to go check a schematic, uh, refill my mojito, get all nice and comfy. And then we'll be back to do some aquatic construction. See you guys in a minute. Or in a few seconds in your case. Oh, I've, yep, I'm going. I'm going, I swear. <laughs> okay, so we're out here, but I suddenly realized that I need a lot of dirt. Probably. I probably need a lot of dirt. So, let's get some. Uh, where is my dirt? My dirt, my dirt. I need a jar of dirt. I think. I think that's how that... Oh, actually, let's put some... Whoops. I want that one. Some eggs away in there. And let's get our dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty! Okay, so, um, while we are doing this, I'm just going to do a little bit of talking. Probably a lot of talking, because 
that's what I do. I do a lot of talking, I think. I hope. I hope I do a lot of talking. So, where do we want to set this out? Um, we want to go halfway between. So, here is good. Oh, actually, what's my difficult... Uh, I should probably play on that. That's what I said I would have been doing a lot of filling around in my test world earlier. Go away. Don't want to do that either! Jesus! As... Oz. I almost used my real name there for a second. That would have been a bit of a doob. Okay. Do I have a shovel? No. Screw it. I'll just use the fortune axe then. So, as far as um, my other series go, I'm sure you guys are all familiar. I hope you guys are fairly familiar with my Poke Play series of Pokemon game playthrough. Let's play series. Z -z 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 -z. And as far as news of that goes, I will have a video up in two or three days uh, concerning the first video of the new series. Of course, I did ask you guys to vote as to which one you wanted, and I do have a video pertaining to that, which is probably up by now. I recorded it about six or seven hours ago. But that one's going to go up pretty quickly because it's only a few minutes long and it's not too much hassle on my my bandwidth. Uh, that's also one of the reasons that I don't upload in 720p because my bandwidth suffers atrociously. Okay, so this is going to be a bit annoying because I now realize that I was on 10. The thing I want to do is a 10 by 10 formation and it's not going to line up with the center. Let me... Take a second to think. Alright guys, a small amount of fiddling later and I have solved our problem. Okay, but I am not going to need more wool. So let us hurry over and shear a couple of sheep so they may be shorn. That's right, not sheared, shorn. That is the proper word to use in that situation. See, I'm not drunk or anything. Damn it. I swear, you villagers, you keep opening them. <gasps> Ooh, I have a blacksmith! Blacksmith villager, what do you want? Oh, 14 beef for an animal. Go. Yeah, go shove that beef where you know where to shove it. Fifty-three. Yeah, that ought to be enough. Uh, let's do you as well. Uh, one more. Damn you. Okay. 51 should be enough. Okay, so in keeping with the theme of this place, which I like to think is a bit of a Zenish sort of temple area. A temple house. I don't know what you want to call it. But going in with that theme, I think I'm going to make a yin yang symbol. So it's going to be 11 by 10. Uh, 11 is going to be the horizontal, that way we can keep the center in here. So I think the edge will be... Uh, let's measure out 7. Magic 7. Okay, where's the center? There. So, 1. Uh, I may need dirt scaffolding. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then here is where it'll go. I want it to be in I want it to be inset into the water. Okay, so that is the edge. So we're at the middle here. Let us move our pick over here. Whoops. Derp Oz derp. Okay, so we want to put one there. Uh, two along here. And one you just went down, didn't you? Oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, I tells you. Okay, so, next we... Oh, my picture is upside down. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's go that way. That way it'll be easier on moi. And that way we have the white side pointing in towards there. Which I think is important probably important. One, two, three. Like 
I said 11 by 10. That means we're going to come out here. Oh, better surface. See, I would have died if I was in 1.4.3. Okay, so let's go up. Three along here. One, two, three. Boom. There's the eye of our... Ooh, this is going to test me. I don't can't actually remember which one of these is yin and which one is yang. I know that... Actually, I think yin is... Oh, jeez, I have notes on this somewhere. Mm, okay. Three, one, boom. Um, ooh, my mum is going to kill me if I get this wrong. She is very, um, one of those spiritual people. She knows all about this stuff and chakras and stuff like that. Not that she's a hippie or anything. Oh, what? Ooh, was I under there for too long? Oh, right, I'm wearing my leather armor. Derp. Not my diamond set, but that wouldn't make much difference because my freaking thingamabobby broke. Oh, and it's clear. Okay. So, we want one, two, three. And this is going to be our... Yeah, oh, this is going to be our black site. <laughs> I'm just going to call it that. I don't care. I don't care. I'll tell you. Okay, so that's the three. And then we want to go one, two, three, four. Now we're starting to get some shape in here. One, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that that can't be right. Hang on. Nope, that's right. No, I'm right. I swear I'm right. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's a block there. What is that? It's a cobblestone wall. I must have put that there as a marker for something. Oh, well. Okay, next up. So that's the seven. So we want four along here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Starting to take shape here. It's oop. Microphone jack just slipped off my lap. Okay, uh, four. Then we want one, two, three. Now we're just sort of mirroring it up from the other side now. And then we want to. So we've got three there. We want to go two. Whoops. One. One, two, three, and then there is the one, and this is the last white wall we need. We'll place that just so we have our contrast, so we know that that is sand. One, two, three, one, two. God, this is so much easier to do when I don't have to put up with water. Oh, what's going on? Why am I going so slow? Okay, so what have we got? We've got one, two, three. We need one more. Four. One, two, three. I think that's it. No, that can't be it. That looks dumb. Hang on. What are we missing? Ah. There it is. All right. Let us hop up and have a look how our yin-yang is din doing. That was a stupid joke. That was dumb even in my head. <laughs> Okay, let's get some dirt and fill in a border. That way we get a proper look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know why I'm counting this. The numbers are not important at this point. Boop. Keep ourselves oxygenated. Damn, Oz, if you could spend five minutes and not screwing up where you put your blocks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Get rid of you quickly. We're almost at the end of the episode. Which is pretty wow. I'd done nothing at all this episode except talk. Oh, well. <laughs> Got to have a look at some of the progress I've made. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So, in the um, in between now and next episode, I'll probably do some finishing work around this bit. I'll probably make a nice border with some stone brick. I might end up even using that mossy sto stone brick I got from the Stronghold way back in episode 10. Well, in between, in between 10 and 11. I'll use this uh, mossy stone brick around here to make a perimeter. We will make a nice pool, and I'll actually start using some of the Stronghold... Uh, resources that I've kept in my chests for, what is it now, 17 episodes. 
drink. <laughs> take a drink every time I take a drink. Drinking game. <laughs> I'll drink to that. So, with that, uh, that's the end of episode 27. I hope you guys had fun watching, uh, or listening, for the most part. <laughs> it was probably the larger of the uh, sensors you were probably using. So, I'm going to get out of here because I'm rambling like a fool. And I'll see you guys in episode 28 when we'll get some more work done and head towards that light at the end of the tunnel that is the Minecraft construction project. And I'm just talking out of my butt here. Alright, I'll end this now. I'll save you guys the misery. See you guys next time. Ciao for now.